Hello friends and onlookers, this is Conrad Zimmerman here again and I am playing a little nuclear throne. Uh, this is a, a new game from Vlambeer, you saw their logo pop up on there, and they're my favorite indie game development uh, group right now, making stuff, uh, because they make these great risk-reward based mechanics that fit really well with you know, like the kind of arcade games that I like. And so this is a post-apocalyptic sort of roguelike-like game with procedurally generated stages and a variety of different characters to play through with their own different special abilities and a whole lot of guys to shoot. So uh, I've been playing this quite a bit. It's in early access right now on Steam and so the version that may even be out by the time you see this might not be the version that's currently uh, available. But uh, I thought I'd give it a little playthrough and play through with uh, a bunch of the characters and, and show you what it's all about. Because I really, I do love it. And I think it's something that, uh, as it uh, gears towards completion, is going to be really, really fun. Uh, so here you can see uh, around the campfire here, we have uh, all the different characters. We have Fish here, uh, Crystal, who has this awesome shield. Eyes has a telekinesis ability that draws enemies closer to him, making them easier to shoot, pulling them out of cover. Melting is very weak, but anything he destroys in the environment can be blown up to deal damage to stuff, so he's really, really powerful and a super cool character. Uh, Plant, he moves quicker, and he's got these little vines that can hold enemies in place and let you shoot him. Uh, YV, who is a, a character from another Vlambeer game, Young uh, Venus, uh, he's, the game's called Gun Gods, and uh, he gets to shoot twice, and then we've got a dual wielder, and a character who uh, eats guns and turns them into more ammo. So let's just start with Fish. He's kind of the basic character. He gets a little more ammo from drops, and uh, he's got this cool dodge roll thing that's very useful, if you're good at using it. I'm not, so this ought to be interesting. And so as you can see here, uh, I'm using the controller. It's playable with mouse and keyboard also, but it's gonna, it would be real clacky clacky, and that's no fun. Plus, I, I just prefer games with, uh, with gamepad controls in general. And you see enemies there are dropping little green bits of radioactive material, and you collect that, and then you use it to level up between stages if you've managed to acquire enough. In the upper left corner there, you can see there's a... Uh, little meter with a one that's filling up as I'm, I'm getting these. These scorpions are nasty. And the machine gun. It's about as powerful as the revolver, but it uh, fires auto-fire style. Just hold down the trigger. And uh, when you kill the last enemy, a portal opens up and you go into the next world. And now here, I'm giving the option to select a mutation to improve my character because I reached level two. Uh, Gamma Guts causes enemies to take damage when they touch me, I can have slower enemy bullets, so you get a selection of these four mutations you can have, and they're randomly selected every time you level up. Uh, I love regenerating hit points from kills, so I'm going to take that ability. And, ooh, I heard a, a ding, now that could be a few things, that could be just a, a metal um, thing that blows up, but it could also, more frighteningly, be a really big nasty scorpion made of metal who will make my life hell. An SMG there. I don't like the ammo consumption on the SMG, although one of the advantages of playing fish is that he does get a little bit more ammunition, and double the ammunition other characters do when, when they pick up, I think. And that was a short little level. That was quick. These things explode and release all sorts of little maggot things, and you don't want to screw with that. A crossbow. I do love the crossbow. The crossbow's great because it has this uh, laser sight on it. It makes aiming really easy. So we'll pick that up to have to accompany the machine. Gun. Oh, big bandit! Now the big bandit comes out on the third stage of this first set of levels. The nasty little mini boss character fires a whole bunch of rounds from that machine gun. And he can be a little difficult to kill, but we got him handily there. Taking a bit of damage. Oof. Oh. That's scary. These uh scorpions are just nasty customers. One thing I, I get 
paranoid about is, you know, some enemies will deal damage on touch, others won't. Like, the regular bandits, they won't hurt you if you just touch them. Uh, it's only when they shoot you, but the scorpions, the big maggots, the little maggots, those all hurt by touch, and so I get paranoid even around things that wouldn't hurt me if I ran into them just because I don't want to take the damage. Health and ammo are things to be prized in, uh, in Nuclear Throne. So there's still at least one dude hiding out somewhere in the level waiting for me to kill him. Let's try this corner up here. Ooh! Okay, so we got another one of these maggot factories. A screwdriver dropped there. I'm not going to be picking that up. Uh, so I can have the enemies that touch me deal damage. I can in decrease their general HP. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble talking today for some reason. Uh, get a little extra speed. Or, uh, this is one of my favorite powers, is the ability to attract those level ups. I'm going to go with Scarier Face right now. Uh, even though I do like getting those level ups a little faster. Uh, and having that Continuum Hunger helps because it means that you're not nearly so likely to miss an opportunity to get to the XP. Oh shit, these tight quarters are nasty. That barrel there, with some deadly radiation floating around it. You can hurt yourself pretty bad in that. These tight corners and rats scare the crap out of me, and I'm, oh god, I've been paying attention to my ammo, and now I'm going to be in trouble. Now there's a bazooka explo- oh shit! Ah, those assassin guys are so nasty, because they'll just run right in close. They're all melee based, and they are quick. And damn it, and that's that's how you die in Nuclear Throne. Curses. All right, let's go back to the character select, and uh, we're gonna try someone else. Who are we gonna try? Let's do. Let's do Plant. I don't play Plant very often. He's not one of my favorites. The additional move speed he has is nice. And we're back in first level of the wasteland. Killing maggots and scorpions again. You get it's you know, like games like this and Spelunky and um, Finding of Isaac, you get really good at you know, first areas in this, because you come to be so accustomed to playing them over and over and over again, so there, be, there gets to be a real, uh, a development, a no, noticeable development of skill uh, as you progress, and you get a little more confident about the enemies that you're, you're going up against. Uh, okay, let's, let's do some regenerating ammo. It's never a lot of ammo, but every little bit helps. Especially if I can wind up getting me a, uh, a excuse me, a powerful weapon with uh, some uh, limited ammo. Like the energy weapons are great, but they burn ammo quickly, and there's uh, not a lot of capacity that you have. With it. You don't have to carry that many rounds. Okay, we're having some good success. We're keeping enemies both off our back, but we need to get Serious damage here, and that is no bueno. You want to make sure you always get that little capsule thing when it appears, because it's worth a lot of experience, and it's really easy to just sort of leave it there, because it's one of those items you don't have to collect to finish the level. Uh, generally, there is a version of it that has a whole bunch of radioactive maggots that spring out, and that's pretty terrifying. So, I could get my health back and a bunch of ammo, which would be helpful, or I could just get four more maximum ammo and hope I pick up some more, so I think I'm going to do that. Some exploding barrels to uh, deal some damage. I feel like the audio has gotten bad at some point in this video, so I'm hoping it's not like too quiet to hear anymore, or it's just my headphones having... Oh! Dead! That was quick. Quick and embarrassing. But then I'm not much of a plant player, I'll admit it. Who else we got? Young Venus is a, a really cool character because he can, uh, his special ability lets him basically shoot a more powerful version of whatever weapon he's carrying. Um, 
for a lot more damage and uh, at a greater expense of ammunition. But very useful ability to have, because especially against Big Bandit, uh, and later there's a, a large dog enemy, which is, I still have yet to... I think I've beaten him once, maybe. Uh, having that huge damage push. No! Damn it! See, I missed the capsule because I killed the last guy before I got it and I couldn't get to it in time. Bummer! Way to take damage, Conrad. Walk right into the guy's bullet, why don't you? Oh, do it again, too. That's a good idea. Pop, pop. At least they're dropping some health for me to pick up. Get some of what I lost back. Got a laser pistol. That'll be nasty when, uh, I use a special later. More enemies abound somewhere. So to the right. No, yeah, there's enemies. Yeah. Oh, dead. God, that's no good. This is really embarrassing. I'm kind of ashamed of myself at the moment. All right, let's. Let's do, uh, let's do melting. Now, you know, this is probably the worst choice I can make for, you know, being like, oh, I'm doing very poorly, I'm taking lots of hits. Because when melting is your character, you're basically one hit dead, unless you can get Rhino Skin to get yourself some, uh, additional maximum health. The, just about every attack, except for, like, the little maggots, does two damage or more. So, you're kind of screwed if you are not exceedingly careful with him. And I haven't been exceedingly careful as I play today, so this might end in tears. But his ability is so useful, because not only does he get more experience points, and therefore is able to level faster, and there's a better chance of getting good mutations that you want as a result, all of the corpses that he leaves behind on the stage can then be exploded... Uh, to deal damage. So, there, I just popped that dead scorpion to kill the other one right up above. It happened pretty quickly, but it did happen, I swear. Pop those corpses to kill that guy. So you can get around corners, you can, you know, position enemies around other enemies, and then drive them to their doom with some practice. It's, it's quite fun. You know, in a crowded group of enemies, you really only need to kill one guy if you can, you know, aim in the tight little crevice they're in. God damn it. And then you could pop most of the rest. Pretty useful. Right. So what do I want with melting? I, what I want is um, to get more health, but that's not going to happen from this selection, so... Wow, uh, well, let's do more item drops. That'll get me additional ammo, which is nice. Even if the additional health drops that... Well, I mean, I won't have health drops until I take damage, because... And I love that in games, by the way. I love it when you don't get power-ups you don't need. Because there's nothing more frustrating than getting a whole bunch of power-ups and, like, probably actually needing something. Ah! And then not being able to get it. Because it keeps giving you the other power-up, and that's really annoying. Don't have another gun. Oh, popped him with all those corpses over there. I'm gonna take this SMG just because I have nothing else and I don't want to die. And I almost ran into that little maggot, and that would have taken half my health. Not that it matters too much, but criminy, it's close. Okay, we collected our little goodie there. We've got a grenade launcher, which is a nice little weapon, but it's not—it's not one of my favorites. Uh, explosions can kill you if you don't get a mutation that prevents that, which is uh, can be a thing. Um, and then on top of that, it. Timing the aim and so forth—it's a really effective weapon. But what, one thing that's cool about it is it will destroy terrain. So, like in this coming stage, hey, there's my rhino skin. Okay, we're in business. And I got two levels that time. So let's 
the hell? We'll slow enemy bullets down as well. Make it a little easier to dodge them. Okay, so the green... See the green rats there? They're being generated by an enemy, and that's not good, because he'll just keep making them if I don't kill him. There's that big rat there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's no good. Just popped everyone, and hopefully that did some damage to people. Okay, good. Everybody's dead. Yay! And a shotgun. Now, there is a weapon we can make use of, because the shotgun just spreads a whole bunch of bullets, and they'll bounce off of the uh, environment a bit, so that you can get into crevices with it. Really cool weapon. Oh, but I am low on shells. So we're going to switch back to our revolver. And kill all these rats that are... Okay, ah! Oh, not good, not good! That, that dude's got a shotgun! Gator guy's got a shotgun like mine. And he's nasty. Right. So I'm down to half my health because I've taken some damage here from enemies, but not dead yet. Got that rat with an explosion. Oh, it gets really tense as you get into this, too. I'll take this crossbow. Oh, God! Did not see him. I'm gonna... This is gonna be a problem. But that opened up the level. Exit. And I'm gonna pick my revolver back up, because I do want the ammo. There, I don't have enough shotgun rounds. Now, I only have one hit point left. And this is where it gets hard, so I'm dead. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Still got a bit of a cough. It's one of those long, persistent ones. Okay, so back at the menu. Now I'm going to play my favorite character. We'll do one more run. We won't play everybody here, but I'm getting a good sense, I think, of what this game consists of. Crystal's my favorite character to play. Because Crystal has a shield and Crystal reflects bullets. He also starts out with a little more health than everyone, so he's a good beginner character. And I am not particularly good at this, so beginner characters are right up my alley. So you see, he'll just block anything that comes in on him, which is great. Ooh, I'm gonna pick up a laser pistol and save that for later. The thing I like about Crystal is that he makes a fantastic melee character, and I was really worried about, like, I would see the screwdriver early on, and I'm like, oh god, melee in this game's gonna be a bitch. But there are a few other, much more potent uh, melee weapons, and you can get that range your range increased with a mutation. Uh-oh. I have not gotten ammo. And I'm gonna get my ass kicked soon. If I don't get out of here. Lots of maggots, and that's not good for Crystal. And I'm totally out of ammunition. Now I have a grenade launcher. Oh, great. Sledgehammer, now there you go. That's a weapon I want. Because it doesn't require ammo. And as a melee weapon, it's got great range, it does excellent damage, and it also pushes back bullets. Like, uh like the shield does for Crystal. Uh, so, you know, kind of going uh, melee does sort of take some of the benefit out of Crystal's abilities. Maybe, but it doesn't... I don't know. I still enjoy doing it more with that character because I feel like I have more confidence in it. Uh, we're going to increase Max Health and really make him a beast. The Sledgehammer really knocks enemies back also, so this would be one that would, like, melting if you were brave enough to try and do melee with him. It could be very effective because you just push that enemy back and then pop their corpses and they're all dead. Come on, shoot me! Oh, I reflected all your bullets! <laughs> and I went and picked up a laser pistol there because I like that weapon. Oh god, he just plowed into me and killed me. Alright, one more crystal run. So that was short, and I can do better. One more round! 
That's the problem with these bland beer games, is that they all have this one more round kind of ease of getting back into another game. It's so easy to pick them back up and just keep going. Super Crate Box was one that I lost hours and hours and hours to. I would just sit there all night. One more game. Dead Scorpion. Dead Bandit. And some more ammo. Good. Can't believe how quickly I ran out of ammo in that last round. Don't want to miss free experience down here. Whoa. Grab the sledgehammer. Excellent start. So, I could increase max ammo, or build up skin, or get extra head points from med uh, medkits, which is great, but the drop rate on medkits isn't great. So, I'm going for rhino skin again. And I'm going to go that melee route as much as possible. So I'm, I'm big on ammo conservation, um, although that doesn't seem obvious from my performance today. I, I try to, whenever possible, go with the thing that's not going to use a resource. Ugh. Fucking scorpions. There we go. Clear the path a little bit. Oh, God. Just took that right in the face. A little scorpion spunk directly in the eye. Down in this little corner, this poor lonely guy! And I got it! And I got my level! And... <coughs> so the throne butt, this, is one, this one's cool. It upgrades the ability of whatever you've got. Now, like, the most effective I've seen is, explo is uh, explosive for melting. It, it's just a ridiculously big explosion that results. For, uh... Crystal, it makes your uh, shield allow you to teleport places to, you know, like in a limited distance, and it's kind of neat, but I have trouble using it, so I, I typically don't go that route with Crystal. Uh, so we're going to do uh, item drops to increase our rate of health drops, and let us get back some of this uh, health we're missing, and continuing to lose because we're playing poorly. I got him. The little guy's gotta die. He's gonna be a problem if I don't get him. There we go. Okay. Kill. 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 Take that machine gun. And there's our big bandit. Fudge monkeys. I'm just gonna clear this out because I don't want that problem to be a problem. Uh. I'm going to take this grenade launcher and just try and screw his day up with it. Collected a bunch of damage. Got him! So yeah, again, not one of my favorite weapons, but useful in that situation. I'm going to grab my machine gun again, because I prefer it. Okay, and remember I was saying that there are these uh, sort of maggoty exploding things. Well, this is one of them. Uh, I'm actually gonna go and grab that grenade launcher again for this. Cool, I got all the experience and I didn't get sucked to the portal so I can go get my machine gun. Yay! In we go. Okay, I love that plutonium hunger. Uh, but long range for melee is awesome! So we're taking that. Yes! Got that exploding guy. I love that, especially with the long range, you can get, <laughs> you can kind of, like, it's a, feels a bit like cheating, but you can 
sort of go around and through walls much more easily with these melee weapons and get guys around corners without too much difficulty. Oh, it's so intense in the dark. Now, the Eyes character gets a much larger field of vision. Like, I think he can see the entire stage in this area, which is pretty valuable, but, um... Still a nasty thing. Oh, and we've got a big scorpion somewhere out here. Or a big rat. Creating more of those nasty little green guys. And there he is! And there's a health pack. That's good. I want to get that. But did it at the cost of health, so I didn't really make progress. I'm actually worse off. Another health pack, though. We're back up to five. A laser rifle? Ooh, I love me laser weapons. That's a good compliment to uh, having a melee, to have a you know, nice super-powered range weapon. And... my energy is maxed out. Oh shit, did I miss something up there? I missed a chest. Oh well. These birds are nasty, they move around, they have submachine guns. So they fire out three rounds real quick. Fortunately, between the sledgehammer and my shield, I should be able to block anything that they've got coming. But they can move... They're more mobile around the map than a lot of enemies. Still, I can take advantage of these corners and eliminate them. Well, too much of a struggle. Don't want anybody to get behind me, though. That's no good. And that uh, melee range is doing good things for me. I'm just going to take care of these guys through the wall if I can. Because that frog dude there will explode. You've probably seen that happen. And sent out a whole mess of poison that's damaging. And damage isn't fun. We don't want to be damaged. Here. Ooh, big health pack. We want that. We like big health packs. And we cleared the level a little earlier than I wanted to. Didn't get to uh, pick up what was in that chest either. Now those... Ah! Oh, God, we had another one of those assassin guys that killed me earlier. He was so quick. But he's dead. So now these guys with the rifles... I love them with Crystal because it's so easy to just block their attacks and have them kill themselves, basically. Come and get them. Yep. Real easy to just let them take care of themselves. Yay for Crystal. She, I guess, I guess Crystal's female. The gender on these characters is hard to tell, but I think... Crystal's referred to as female, which would make sense. Crystal is a actual human female name. Oh, god damn. Oh, thank god, I got that assassin, I think. If they can play dead, they're nasty. They'll sit there and you'll think, oh, that's just a corpse, and then they'll get up and kill you. I hate them. Scariest enemies in this game, easily. Is the last one? It is. Alright, so here we go, we got a good closing run. That makes me happy. Uh, let's get bloodlust and maybe regenerate some health from kills. We got another assassin right there at the beginning. Not fucking with him. Oh yeah, the other thing about the guys with the rifles is that they explode when they die, so they can be... they're not someone you want to get close to. Uh oh, big dog! Look at all these bullets! Oh my god! So many bullets! Oh god damn, that assassin guy didn't get me. Oh, I think I managed to block his first attack too, which I was really proud of. And meanwhile, Big Dog is a massive, nasty enemy and fires a lot of bullets. So, that's Nuclear Throne. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out with me while I play games, Click the subscribe button, like the video, 
there will be more stuff to come. We will be getting back to our playthrough of uh, Killer is Dead soon, I'm sure. So please uh, subscribe and, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.